What's up my lovely ladies? Um, I decided to come see you guys with another new video because I was thinking, I was like, who doesn't love Starbucks? So I am about to do my top 10 favorite Starbucks drinks. And also if you guys didn't know, so I don't think I talk about it much, but I work at Starbucks. So, you know, yeah, <laughs> there's that. But yeah, so here's my top 10 favorite Starbucks drinks, so let's go. Alright, so, um, these are also going to be, like, seasonal, like, because there's some drinks on here that aren't always there, you know what I mean? Like, they come different seasons, different times, blah, 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 so I'm just naming, like, my top 10 all-time favorites so far, at least, um... So yeah, just so you know. So if you go there and they be like, oh, we don't have that right now, that's why, because it could be a seasonal one. So yes. Um, yeah, all right, so let's get started. All right, so my first one is a hot caramel macchiato with add hazelnut with two Splendas. It is like so freaking good. And I got Bay hooked on this too, so you know, it's lit, it's lit. But um, yeah. And you, when you add hazelnut, it gives it, it makes it, um, what I'm trying to say, it makes it French vanilla, like a French vanilla macchiato with caramel drizzle. And the two splendor, like, it's so good, but only hot because I don't like the ice ones. I don't know. Don't ask why. I don't like the ice ones. I only like it hot. So, yes, caramel macchiato, add hazelnut, two splendor. Bam. Um, the next one is toasted white mocha, not regular white mocha toasted white mocha and then this is hot or cold so i guess it's like two drinks in one but it's not but i like this one hot and cold toasted white mocha you can do it regular or i like to add chestnut praline to it so toasted white mocha hot or cold add chestnut praline they're both seasonal so there there's that but um yeah toasted white mocha hot or cold Two, or not two, but <laughs> chestnut praline. Um, and then I don't like the, um, I'm dropping stuff, my bad. But I don't like the toasted white mocha topping. It's like some cranberries, something, something. I don't like that. You could get that if you want. I just don't like it personally. But yeah, um, moving on. Oh. Um, ice white mocha, not the toasted one, but ice regular white mocha and um with caramel drizzle so i don't like it regular i have to have caramel drizzle i don't know why but yes ice white mocha not the hot one but regular 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 ice white mocha with caramel drizzle on top bam um yeah there's that um uh, iced vanilla latte add hazelnut that's another thing I was saying, like, it makes French vanilla. Yeah. You can probably do it. It probably tastes good hot, too. But this one, again, I like ice. So, ice, vanilla latte, add hazelnut. Bam. Moving on. This one is um, a hot. This one, I mean, this one's kind of good cold, but I prefer it hot. But, yeah, um, a hot chestnut praline with extra topping. Because the topping on this freaking drink the chestnut praline so freaking bomb it's so freaking bomb so yes hot chestnut praline extra topping you gotta get the extra topping you'll thank me later but yes um okay strawberry refresher with lemonade no water and no fruit so it's the strawberry acai i know everyone says a kai or a c or whatever y'all be saying i don't know but strawberry acai with lemonade, no water, and no fruit. The fruit be nasty. I don't like it. I don't know why people like it. It be mushy and chewy and it's a gross. But if you like it, keep it. If you don't, don't have it. But with lemonade, because if you do it with water, it's going to be nasty. That's like the regular way. Don't do it with water. Do it with lemonade. Costs a couple cents extra, but it's worth it because you'll actually drink it. <sighs> yes. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that was it. Strawberry refresher, lemonade, no fruit, no water. Bam. Moving on. Um, this is for like my regular people that don't like all the fancy Starbucks stuff and then you just come in there and be like, 
I just want a cup of coffee. Do y'all have just coffee? You know, you know them people. You know them people. So yes, that's for these people. Just to spice up your life a little bit, you know, so it's still good, but you still got your plane, you know. Okay, so this is a regular cup of coffee with hazelnut, and then, you know, like, a little bit of cream, a little half and half, and then two Splenda. Bam. And also, if you want to spice it up a little bit more, you could do regular coffee with white mocha or toasted white mocha cream. Optional, because the white mocha is kind of enough, but... Cream is optional, yes or no, and then two Splenda. You'll thank me later. Like I said, these are all bomb. Um, this is another seasonal one, and I'm sure everyone can agree with me on this one because everyone always be asking for it year round. But s'mores frappuccino. Yes, it is as good as everyone make it seem. It's so bomb. S'mores frappuccino, extra milk chocolate, cause that milk chocolate be bomb AF. <laughs> Extra milk chocolate, extra gram topping on top. Let me repeat it. S'mores Frappuccino, extra milk chocolate, extra gram topping on top. Y'all got it? Y'all got it? Okay. It's bomb. It's bomb. Um, I was going to say, I'm going to put this one now too because it kind of mixes into the s'mores. Uh, iced, uh, not hot. An iced white regular white mocha mixed with the milk chocolate from the s'mores not which is basically a black and white mocha yeah black and white mocha but it's not just regular black and white mocha I don't like the regular black and white mocha the only time I have a black and white mocha is if we have s'mores so I can make it with milk chocolate so let me repeat it slow it down for y'all iced regular white mocha and then the s'mores milk chocolate together Iced, two pumps of both. Bomb, A F, A F. And then the last one, guys. The last one is the Snickerdoodle hot chocolate. Yes, it's like seasonal when they talk about it, but you get it year round. It's just uh, what I'm even trying to say. It's just two ingredients that we always have, which is white mocha and cinnamon dulce. So you get it year round, but yeah it is um like i said the snickerdoodle hot chocolate that is for my people out there that don't like coffee or can't drink coffee or your mama won't let you have coffee or whatever the case is snickerdoodle hot chocolate it is so bomb i actually tried it in a frappuccino one time it was good but the hot chocolate version is better so yeah what you gonna do but um yeah that was my top 10 my top 10 favorite Starbucks drinks guys um like I said I work there so I'm always like experimenting like mixing different flavors together and all that stuff because you know what else what you know what else is life there's nothing else in life other than mixing freaking Starbucks drinks to make something bomb you know okay anyways <laughs> anyways um yeah guys so I hope you enjoyed this video if you guys tried these before or you go out and try them let me know how you like them if you like them if you don't like them you can leave some of your favorite drinks down in the comments some of your faves some of your not faves you know let me know let me know so I can try them to myself if I haven't tried them um but yeah i think that's about it guys i love you guys make sure you like comment and subscribe for me and yeah talk to you guys later Mwah.